Uh, up next again uh, is my good friend Marcel Maya. Thank you very much. Thank you, Linda, for that wonderful uh, lecture and uh, collection of cases. So it, it, we, we started doing the same uh, uh, percutaneous procedures, and uh, the first one we, we I'm not going to go through this. This is not where we are. But it is complicated, and not everybody has the same approach, and depending on the type of leak. But pretty much it can be narrowed down to this slide. And we start with the conservative measures. We do epidural blood patch. And if there's a target, we put fibrin glue. And then the next step is surgical repair. And uh, repeat and rinse. So that's, that's the idea. Uh, it helps to uh, have the type of leak, and the treatment may be slightly different based on the type and based on the uh, presentation. But basically, we have the same things, single level, multi-level, and targeted blood patches and targeted fibrin glues. We do it in the same uh, room that we do the monograms in, not on a CT scanner, but on a, a biplane fluoro unit. And... Uh, we've been able to work it out. I did this patient and back in 2003. It was the first one, and uh, it was one and done, and he really uh, recovered very well, and that was the start of these procedures. We've done quite a few along uh, the years. The number of blood patches are obviously higher than the fibrin glues. Uh, clearly, a blood patch is uh, non-targeted and the first line of approach. Um, our numbers are nowhere near Duke. Um, obviously, the, uh, the, uh, you guys do a lot more there. Uh, we have a good surgeon here who likes to operate. But uh, we, we, also see, we also see a lot of patients who've uh, kind of exhausted all the uh, uh, percutaneous approaches, and uh, they eventually say, uh, get me under the knife. So we, that's where we are. Um, but we do, we do get our hands on a few patients, and this is an example of one such patient who had this um, large cyst, and we're able to put the um, needle in and around the cyst, pull back, confirm the cyst, and then uh, lace the epidural space around the cyst with fiber and glue and uh, do a smaller one at the lower level. This is an example of a patient in, her, in his 30s who uh, did have brain imaging findings positive for a leak with the uh, sagging. And the uh, uh, MR monogram was not uh, really uh, uh, diagnostic. The, C the DSM did show a fistula, uh, uh, sorry, a lateral tear, a very small one, and he had a ventral collection. So we proceeded to... Uh, put the fibrin glue in that one uh, lateral position percutaneously through a transferaminal, and he's doing, I want to say he's doing well. He's actually suffering from uh, a high um, uh, pressure, rebound pressure, and he's tr being treated for, with that. But as far as the leak, that has been a durable relief with the single percutaneous injection. Um, type 2 cysts, uh, type 2 uh, leaks with sacral cysts, there is an example of a patient who has, uh, I showed this earlier, a pseudo-localizing finding on MR myelogram with spread along the epidural spaces, but the uh, targets were L5 and S1 uh, large cysts, which we injected with fibrin glue, and the patient did quite well. A similar one on a thoracic spine, and here we have a frontal AP myelogram DSM, showing the leak around the nerve roots. In this region, you'll see low thoracic right here. <coughs> and this is the CT myelogram showing the same cysts. And uh, percutaneous needles, fibrin glue, she did quite well after without requiring surgery. What are the results? Uh, well, they are all over the place. Um, relapse is not uncommon. It does happen. Uh, we, many patients do require repeated blood patches, and you'll see many of them. Some patients have 80%, 85% relief, 
and cannot go the further 20 percent. And uh, if it's bad enough, we have to study them for diagnostically to find out if there are targets that we missed. Uh, we're a little bit better with the fibrin glue, not so much in the CSF venous fistula, but on the other types of leaks, and not as much as in the ventral leaks. Despite um, what we heard before, the ventral leaks, we have not been that successful. Those usually go to surgery. Um, and that's it, really. I'm open to questions. <laughs>